So as well as just knowing what solubility actually is, we have to interpret solubility graphs or solubility curves. Now, before we actually look at solubility curves, as part of this topic, you need to know some basic elements. For example, knowing that lines of best fit don't always go through the origin. Also, to know that you should choose a suitable scale for axes when you're writing it down on graph paper. And also to label the axes um, with the correct variables and numbers and units, etc. Also, you have to understand how to plot and interpret solubility curves. So let's start with the solubility curves. As you can see here, these three lines do not go through the origin because we aren't starting at zero degrees and therefore at 20 degrees there will be some solubility. So we can see that there are three solids and solubility is increasing for all three at some rate. This means that they dissolve more so they become more soluble as we increase the temperature. This We know this because if we look at the two axes, as the temperature goes along towards the right, the number on the y-axis is going up. But we can also compare. So we can see that lead nitrate is more soluble than sodium chloride because the line is going steeper and higher, but it's less soluble than potassium nitrate. Now, you might also be asked to deduce some values. So for example, it might say, how soluble is lead nitrate at 50 degrees. If you draw a line up to 50 degrees, when the green line meets that line, read across to the solubility and you'll see that it's 80 grams of solute per 100 grams of water. You may also be asked to continue the line and to work out what the solubility would be past 100 degrees. But let's also remember there are a couple of basic things you need to know when you're plotting a graph in chemistry. Firstly, remembering that the y-axis has the dependent variable and the x-axis has an independent variable. Also to remember that the line of best fit, again, does not always go through the origin, i.e. 0, 0. And to always use this acronym when plotting a graph, that's SLAP UK. So scale, line, axes correctly, points, units correctly labelled and the key where applicable. Mm -hmm.